this is one of the few fish that I can honestly say I'm fearful. I'm afraid of these fish. Daytime, they scare me. Nighttime, that literally just terrifies me. So with a fish like this, you have to be careful. It could cost you your life or even your crew member your life. I'll see you guys after the intro. Here we go, boys and girls, for the dream. Just Hawaii, this is what we do. <laughs> <laughs> what is up? Good morning, my name is Nick Morris here. Welcome to another episode of Real Adventures Hawaii. If it's your first time here, welcome aboard. If you're coming back, welcome back aboard. Today we're fishing at East Side of Oahu. See, we get lucky. I haven't heard much. We left the harbor this morning. There's only two boats in the harbor, so it's not gonna be a slow day. But hopefully, now we'll see what happens. Fishing me today is the one and only Ninjas of Henry. Hi, Mom. I got the Kamikaze Mark. Thumbs up, everybody. Show everybody your thumb. His first trip back since he got wrecked. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I put the outriggers down today. I didn't have to touch them today. <laughs> And then uh, we have one other special guest with us today. He's taking his mid-morning siesta. We have the baby Ruth. The baby Ruth, he's all knocked out. All right, we get the lines in the water and uh, she will get lucky. With every good fish trip, you guys know the rules. You gotta get something, you have to get something. I'll tell you what, that sea god, he loves his 7-Eleven spam to be. Let's get this in the water. So we get lucky. The sun is a cracking, the lures are going out. It's gonna be a beautiful day. Always positive, never negative. See what happens, boys and girls. If you can, hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe, post new videos every Thursday. There we go, it's gonna be good. You'll see, you'll see. We set lines, we saw a small bird pond in front of us. We put a nine inch lure here, a six inch, six inch, five inch, six inch lure, another seven inch lure, a mixed bag, because we don't know what it is. A couple weeks ago, there's eyes, there's eyes, the tunas over here. No idea what's over here now. So a mixed size of lure, just because we don't know what's over here. We don't run all small lures, and there's tuna fish here. The moon phase is coming good again, so. We'll see. Good size bird bodies. 150, 200 birds. Pretty good. Here, our first cast. See what happens. I saw one big splash. I saw some aku splashing. We'll see what it is. Oh, that big splash I saw. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. What was it? Okay, aku. Oh, the aku. Oh, right. I don't think there was aku left. Bigger one. Slow it down. Yes, it is no taros or ahus. Let's go. Let's get back up. First pass, we got a double. We'll sit back up. Put hand lines out. So now we're running six small lures, two bigger lures. Let's see if we get some fireworks for you. Know, there's definitely a taru, so let's see. Nobody around. Just the way I like it. No pressure on the pile. We're fishing close, so we're only like 12 miles offshore. Not that far at all. Very, very close to that. It's awesome. We don't have to go far to find fish. Uh -huh. There's one, there should be more. Uh 
Oh, give him electric grill. I'm pretty stoked. I have okay, one more Gizmo electric grill. So now I have three Gizmos and I have one of the, the big eye ones. The big eye ones are great. They said they're really noisy and the problem I have the problem I was having with them is you definitely gotta open them up and grease them up because I have water getting inside and the whole motor is rusted out on me, so definitely so they want me to take care of them. The gizmos, not so much. So I switched to that. I'm gonna switch out this one pretty soon. I should have four gizmos very shortly. A lot more quiet, a lot better for the engine. Not a prop. Both. That's a good size one. Oh, that's, a health, that's a healthy one. <laughs> yeah, put it back out. Let's go. Alright, get back to the power. One, that's three. Oh, watch your pull. <laughs> That's the one. Seven fifteen in the morning, I love it. Hundred pounds of fish already. Baby is still sleeping. Didn't wake up yet. Last night you went to bed at eleven PM last night. It's um we have to wake up at two thirty to go fishing. You might want to go to bed. He's like, I'll be okay. Normally he says that he doesn't wake up. I went to his room after I load the boat, say, Hey, let's go, you're coming. He's like, I'm going fishing. So he's on the boat, he's fishing. That's right, you can sleep through this morning, but we'll get my afternoon bite. A lot of ice today, so we got a lot of fish. But uh, back in the power, get the line set up, and uh, we get something to happen. We got another boat coming from the outside that's gonna join us. The more the merrier. Oh, ah, double. Triple, watch the pole, so I hit the pole. Good ball. Use those electric reels. We just drag low just to dog them in real slow. Hang it's coming up. Go down. It's 7.40 in the morning now. And that pile is still going off. We had one boat coming inside by us, and the pile is broken up. You mean one pass next to us, I don't think you saw the birds. They ran by us to check us out and went right back out, so. All right, let's see, let's get back in on. They're flying back up, see, we're not that far. We're getting lines out. Once everybody lines out, they're gonna jet over there. Damon is still sleeping. 170 pounds of fish. One or two more should break 200 pounds. Hopefully we break 200 pounds by 8 o'clock in the morning. That'd be lovely. Alright. The line's all back up. Let's go, boys and girls, for the dream. It's right over there. And the rain drops. And the rain drops, anybody hurry up? Woo! 
Okay. Mark got already behind Damien in the cab. Oh god. Dude, that's the end point on that. Freaking Darren, you know? I'm not scared of no rain, but I'm not made of <laughs> While well, I'm putting on my jacket. Alright. And we'll be back to you shortly after this rain cloud. Intermission break. Beautiful blue skies. Welcome to Hawaii. <laughs> oh boy. It's gonna be hot and heavy. Then my daddy saw it coming out a little, when the rain comes, it's just a blessing, it's gonna be good. We'll see if Ahab's correct. We'll see if Ahab's correct. Let's go right into this. You ready? Let's go! Not a choice, my friend. All right, let's do it. Let's go! <laughs> no! He wasn't ready! He wasn't ready. We are back with our regularly scheduled podcast of Let's Get Fish Now. <laughs> We're back there. Oh, man. All right, let's see if we can find something now, boys and girls. We're not that far out there. Only about 22 miles. We're well, hunting the inside. Lots of birds on the inside. Don't need to go far into there. See if we some, can find something good, though. All right, back on the hunt. That buoy only had red aquas. We had big marks coming up, but they wouldn't come higher. So I'm going to up with how many Akus, Damien? Six. Six Akus and one small Shibi. Or maybe a yellowfin tuna. Alright. Let's set back up and start trolling in. We'll look for a toggle. We'll look for that late bite, huh? You ready to catch some fish? You enjoy your nap? Huh? Mm -hmm. Alright, here we go. Look at a little green earlier. It's fine now. Pretty good. We got dinner for all of us. Don't fall in there, so hungry. Seven aquas, one shibi. You want to fall in there? Huh? You want to fall in there? Why? That would be funny. If you fell into the Ikima bloody water head first, would you laugh? Oh yeah, you're definitely my son. Henry, if you fell into the Ikima head first, he'll laugh at you. Yeah. <laughs> well, you're definitely my offspring. Whenever Demian goes fishing with me, there's only one thing he wants to do, and it's to reel a fish in on the hand crank. He's not into electric reels. He's he's so young scared, he just wants to do it the regular way, just hand cranking. Every time we get a fish on the electric reel, he's like, I don't want to do that. So the hand crank is his game, and this right here just made his day. They're dragging the off food. They're dragging the off food, David. Reel it in. Reel it in. That's the love. That's I didn't know first. Maybe chance to do it, dude. Mark! Yeah. You got one! I don't even know how long we've been taking this Oh, God! Come on, Put out the small forward just for him. Get him on the beat. Oh, leader! Come on! Leader! Yeah. Oh, yeah! Hold your fish up, Damien! Yeah. Grab the tail! Yeah. Cheese! <laughs> Good job, buddy. What you want me to do? Take this off? Damien, smile! Cheese! <laughs> Good job, buddy. Yo, what do you mind if I'm dragging this thing for a mile? Nah, no way. No, because I just went I just went to grab my drink and then I turned around and you guys said it was on. I'm going to go back out to where the Otago was this morning. See if it's still there. And now we're going to eat a hunt. It's 120. We're going to eat Otago's at about 
a just shy of 10 ahus and sheaves all together. Like 10 pieces of a wrap. Well, like I always say, there's three bites a day, early bite, late bite, wait for the late bite. Still wait for that late bite, it's coming. Oh, yeah, you. But for all the gear I used today, from the crimps, the swivels, the hooks, the leader, everything, highfishkey.com. Check them out, local company in Hawaii. Raw five and check out, 5% off. Lots of stuff on there you can't really find anywhere else but Hawaii, so check them out. Some really epic stuff. But, uh, there we go, boys and girls, for the dream to we'll find some fish. I think they're that way. I hope so. Or that way. Six hours later. Wow, that's a big boy. That's a big boy. I'm not for no. Oh, big, big barley. Right on. Excellent. Just what you are ready for dark. Excellent. Almost pulled up. Oh, oh, oh. That Marley might have jumped himself done though. Alright, big Marlin on. We got a close one. He ran down right the boat. He was coming at us. It's that big Marlin's or oh, with pretty much any fish. As long as he gets stuck in line, get some gas because you know what? That fish might be swimming right at you. That's what he was doing. So I'm right at us, one right at the prop. I had to kill the motor, lift the legs up, you got 10 underneath. Oh god. Definitely not what you want to deal with this late. It's going to be dark in about 25 minutes. What lure did it bite? Uh, the ice blue jacket. What, the ice blue? Yeah. Oh boy. Wild. Hopefully, you want to go down and see Big Marlin. The sun is going down. We don't want to be doing with these guys on the dark like this. Not it's not a safe fish to deal with them dark, tell you that much, especially one this size. They look to be high tubes, what it look like to be. We'll see though. We'll get the big stick ready to go, the 44. Can you come here, Mark, or no? He came in, did you stop? Not too cool here. You're coming now or no? No, he's too cool again. Okay, so we have to move the boat to this side of the boat. When Marlin, whatever side of the hook on, you have to be able to run that side. If not, it would have kept trying to spin the boat. So we switch boat to that side. I got color ready. I got color ready. Yeah. Color right there. She's right there. Put it on auto, on autopilot? Uh, yeah. I'm gonna go. Um, she's right there. She's not that far away. Every fisherman always has that tale or that story of that smartest fish. That was the smartest one ever. It's always their last one. This one, hands down, was by far one of the smartest marlins I ever caught. She literally came to the boat six times. Every time she came up, she would spin right next to the motor and went underneath. We actually switched the poles back to the other she side did? just to get her in because she was outsmarting us. This was a smart fish. A smart fish, huh? Never it's right there. Never but she's not that far, you know, it's like 30 feet. Yeah. The leader is almost here. Okay, I think we take it on this side. Also the spin. Here, here. Here, here. She's pulling. She's pulling. Leader's right there. Baby. Stay in the wheel. Stay in the wheel. Oh, she's going back there. Oh, it's a big girl. She's a big girl. What side she hooked on? She already hooked on the other side, you know. I don't know what side she's hooked on. But she's still late, you know, she's not done yet. It's right there. I see color. Do some gas for him. Do some gas for him. She's gonna cut. Yeah. I saw the bruise there yet. Yeah.
Okay, she got tangled some out, that's why she's turned all the way now. So she looked on the left side where we want her to be. Tangle tail just a little bit, and it's torn to her just a little bit. Just because she's not going to stay up, see, she's coming at a weird angle. Thank God for these gizmo electric reels. If we had to crank this, we'd be dead right now. We'd be so tired. My drag is backed off just a little bit. I don't want max drag. She wants to run, she can run, but I'm just opening in. To the right, not left, not yet. To the right a little bit more. This is the best way, because she'll try to swim away from us, I'll just pull her in. Because I did, she's trying to pull on her, yeah. Left turn, Henry. There you go, straight down, see, that's the one. How fast are you going, Henry? Try to slow down just a little bit. Let her catch up with us. I want to get her turned this way, that's why. I hope when she comes close, she'll just roll that way. And then we'll be done deal. Going to get some gas or left. Get some gas or left. Good, good, good. Ooh, this one is smart. This one is smart. After fighting this fish for an hour and 40 minutes, it decided to pop up right next to the boat. And when it did, we had all the cameras off because we were trying to conserve battery because we had no idea. So we missed the, I guess you could say, finale shot. But we got everything else. Okay, good. She's done. Turn off the reel. Turn her on. Yep. I'm done. Okay. One, two, three. Oh. Watch your legs, yeah. Okay. Hey. It's a big girl. Oh. You gave us some issues, girl. Give me that bat. Give me the bat, Henry. Yeah, yeah, Give me the bat. <laughs> get on there and get your pics. Well, all the cameras are off. I, I know. Your, your head camera's, camera's on, on, right? That one, my head camera's going on right here. Was that one on up there? I think the battery died. Huh? Yeah, it was off. Oh, great. All cameras are off. Yee! Okay, turn that off. Doesn't matter. We wouldn't be able to see it anyway. It's too dark. Uh, it's blue been firing. Okay, um, What's your name? Let's go saw off that bill real fast. Just so it doesn't jack my boat up and we're driving with it like this. Oh, that was exciting, wasn't it? In the dark? It'll be a little bit too exciting for dark. I don't like catching big barns in the dark. Not enough one at all. Tell you what, that 300 pound Jinkai. 300 pound Jinkai. No, that one's a lot bigger. Damien, come stand out here, get a picture, Damien. Wait, what? It looks like right out here. I'm not polite, it's stink kind of freaking out. Okay. This side is more freaking out at night. Oh, definitely. Get the blue on that thing. Get it? Get it in there. 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 Look at the big barn in the top. Hey, we both got the biggest fish of our lives. <laughs> hey, one more, one more. Bring that kid. One more, one more. Yeah, she's... Good luck, Trevor. Good job, Damien. Whew, it's dark. Good job, guys. Good job. That was epic. I never Fortunately, I think a lot of the cameras are off because it kept coming up, going down, coming up, going down. That was scary. All right, time to head in. Daddy, Build this guy. Oh, good job today, Damien. Good job, Mark. Good job, Henry. It's not dirty. Not bad. You got some otarus, some akus, and then Mark, the last half of the day, he has the hardest time ever. And this will see you at the market to drop this guy off. What's your estimate, Mark? How big do you think? 298. Let's say 265. Henry, what do you say? 270. 270. I say our back's gonna hurt going from here to here. 
Let's see what happens. Two hundred sixty-one pounds. Yep. Thirty-six nine, brother. Temp is good. Thirty-six point nine. So perfect. Lots of ice. Take care of fish. We ended up taking the fish to the auction. With the gills and guts, the fish ended up weighing, I think, 278 pounds. So it was a good sized fish overall. We made a decent amount of money on it. it. Actually paid for fuel, paid for ice, paid for expenses, and put a little money in everybody's pocket. So it was an epic day for sure. Like I said in the intro, those fish terrified me, especially big ones. If you got anything from this video, be careful with marlins. They will kill you. I've heard stories of guys dying from marlins before on Oahu. So be careful. Marlin is not a fish to play with. You have to have respect for it. Look at the shirt wearing. Bless, it's a Lahaina shirt. So Riders Pokey and Shavex is actually selling these shirts. Benefit Lahaina for the fire victims. All the proceeds that they make is going straight to Lahaina. And all the tips at Riders Shop that he's making, I think, for the next month or so, is going to Lahaina. So he's not putting anything in his pocket. That says a lot for a young businessman like himself. You know what I mean? He, I'm sure he could definitely use the income but he wants to help the people of Lahaina. His family owns Blessed Clothing, so they're selling these shirts also at Pro Ridge and at Ryder's Shop. You can get these shirts, and like I said earlier, all the money goes to Lahaina fire victims, and they're gonna hand deliver themselves. It's not gonna go to a third party and all this other BS. It's going straight to them. So if you can, check out Blessed Hawaii, uh, Pro Ridge Mall, and uh, also online, I believe they're selling a shirt online, and check out Ryder's Pokey and Shea Links and information is in the bio. Check them both out, support Lahaina, and also coming up next weekend, not this weekend, the following weekend, I think it's the 14th or 15th, there's going to be a, a fishing tournament in Waianae, a boat fishing tournament in Waianae. It's a benefit tournament for Lahaina also. All the proceeds from that is going to be going to Lahaina fire victims that were displaced because of the fire. If you have more info on the tournament or ways you can help or donate, message me on Instagram and I'll get you all the info you need. I guess that's it. We'll see you guys next week. We have another epic eye video coming up. Get your blessed shirts, support the cause. As always, guys, tight line, see fishy. We'll see you on the water or under the water. Hello, everyone. See you guys next week. What about the fish? You want this fish from the sea? The water's too murky, too hard to see. And the farmer man, he want to plant his colour. The law is dry and